<laughs> uh, my name is Chanel and I do multiply powerlifting. I've been competitive for about nine years now. Um, I started powerlifting out in Toronto. I've traveled all over the U.S. to compete. And I am, I think, top 25 all time in my weight class, which is 148 right now. What's so. that in kilos? Oh, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> Three. <laughs> that, that's i think you're thinking stones 32, 42 i don't know <laughs> 67 is it what is it i don't even know i'm so uh, american now just, it would probably um, be like 60 something 67 or something 68 i, I think know. it depends on the yeah. on the on the uh which the uh, league yeah federation because they, they're different right yeah what, what what federations have you competed in uh, I've competed in the well, Canadian ones, CPL and CPU, I believe, which is the most recent one I've competed in. Um, and then in the Americans, I've done SPF, APF, uh, WPO, HERC, uh, I think Herc. another one. I've never even heard of it's that one. Rita, it's, yeah, I know there's a lot in the States. Uh, it's Rita West's uh, own federation out in upstate New York. So I competed okay. in it. I think in one or two of her competitions and she's got her own up there. And then uh, I think that's it. I might be missing one, but a few, I, I just go for, I usually will compete where my competitors are and less about what the standard is and, or not the standard, but the, uh, <laughs> the standard, uh, the, uh, what do you call the, I go, where, I go where the competition is, I guess, is what I'm getting at. So you actually, you seek out the meets where you're like, you know, there's going to be the best people there. Yeah, or the absolutely. federations where you know there's going to be the best people there. Yeah, I try not to. I, 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 I really do aim to go to places where they're like, I'm not the best, because <laughs> I need to be around people that are better than me. If I'm going to be better, and it's just it's nice to see, and it's 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 very motivating in general to just be around people who are better. <laughs> awesome. So this is a question I usually ask like later on in the podcast, but I try to ask it to everybody who's on here, and I have a feeling that you're going to do pretty well on this. Um, but what is your best squat bench? deadlift and then usually i throw in overhead press just for a, a curveball uh my in multiply so at the i've traditionally only competed at 148 my best squat is 540 i've benched 355 and i've deadlifted 500 pounds nice that's okay yeah, I, yeah <laughs> my my overhead i did last, two weeks ago i did a push press three 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 sets of five at like a plate I don't know if that counts, but that's all I kind of know about all that. Yeah. I mean, a lot of power lifters don't have good overhead presses because <laughs> yeah. it's not important <laughs> at all. <laughs> it can translate depending on who you're training with and stuff, but I don't often do it. Yeah. Depending on yeah. how much lean back you use. Yeah. <laughs> or push <laughs> press. You just, if you just push it up, it'll go. You know, you could do a lot more. It just it's depends on how much ego you want. It's pretty much squat training at that point, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you're training squat. If you do push press, you're training squat and bench press at the same time. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Saves you time. A full squat and then a full overhead. 